All right, let's uh, let's get on topic. I've been live for like almost an hour and a half. Haven't really talked about the, the meat and potatoes. Let's get the meat and potatoes. Let's talk about let's talk about Fox Sheik. Fox Sheik and Marth, the Holy Trinity, the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. And how it feels like we've settled into a little bit of a rock, paper, scissors era. Let me start off by saying this. First of all, I get it, okay? I play Fox. I've got a Sheik secondary, and the character I play the most these days on Unranked might be Marth. Like, I play a lot of Marth. I just think he's fun. My Marth isn't that good. My, my Fox is a lot. Like, my Fox's skill is, like, up here. My Sheik skill is here. My Marth skill is here. So it's like a, it's like a ladder, right? But... I mean, I get it. I was playing on Unranked the other day. I ran into this Marth. I was playing him with Sheik. I was just queuing up with Sheik. I beat him a couple games with Sheik. Pretty easy. I Marthed him for a while. Pretty easy. I think he might have taken one game off me, and I beat him in all the other Marthedos. And then I tried Fox. I'm like, let me give him my main character. I'm having a good session with this guy. I'm having a good session. I respect this guy as a player. I'm going to play him a game or two with Fox and then dip out. Played him with Fox, he fucking three-stocks me. I'm like, What? This guy can barely beat me in Marth, like a single Marth ditto. <laughs> and my Fox gets shat on. I'm like, whoa. Okay, to be fair, like, I think, you know, I needed a game or whatever to warm up with Fox. I think Fox is a hard character in some in a lot of ways. Like, uh, you know, I was I was I was probably not playing like super duper well. And also I want to make it clear that like when we talk about, you know, the reasons a guy like IBDW might switch to to, to sheet for Marth, he's not doing it. I mean, he's doing it like, listen, I'm, I'm in a discord with, with those guys. Cody used to yell at, you know, people like Billy, but probably still does. He used to yell at Billy Bo Peep and fat Goku, people like that. Cause they would complain about the Fox Marth matchup. And Cody would be like, IBDW would be like, dude, you're not good enough. Like you're not good enough to like be complaining about the matchup yet. Like, like you need to try, you need to get better as a fight. He was very encouraging. He was very encouraging. He was like, dude, like, if you're still losing to, you know, the non-Zane Marths, like, you know, you can definitely push your Fox further, you know? IBW's not coming at it from the angle, I'm fighting some Joe Shimo Marth on Unranked, and my Fox gets three-stocked when, when I'm beating him with Marth those. When IBW switches to Sheik, he's doing it at the top level of play, right? Like, he's saying, it's like when Armada started picking up a Fox for Hbox. I maintain that, look, and I think, that, you know, history showed that if Armada just solo main Peach through his entire career, I think eventually he would have taken a couple sets off H Bucks. He would have taken a set here and there. Oh, my he definitely, box. you know, we saw like Keizu take him to game five. Lod's taken a couple sets even at this point off of H Box. But do I think Armada would have ever beaten? Like, do I ever think Armada would have ever beaten H Box with Peach? Yes. But do I think he would have consistently beaten him? No, I don't think so. I don't think H Box, I think H Box would have always had a winning sec re record versus Armada. And so I think IBW is at the level, Levin's at the level where, like, they're kind of looking at it that way. They're like, the way Armada had a shit matchup with Hbox's puff, they're like, all right, look, we could probably beat Zane, but, like, it's really hard. This is just what's going to be better. And I think for Levin in particular, it makes sense because I think Levin's always had an incredible roster of characters. Like, when I watch Levin play, I'm like, when I watch his other characters, I'm like, he's fucking good. Like, he's good with so many characters. I mean, I haven't seen a ton of his Sheik. From what I have seen, it looks very clean. So I'm sure he can do it. And I mean, even myself, like, even at my own level, like, I'm I'm not a top 100 player right now, but Sheik Marth definitely feels easier than Fox Marth a lot of the time. Like, I get it. I've definitely been there. I've definitely been there. Um, So I, I totally know where they're coming from. That being said, do I think the matchup is, like, maximized from the Fox's perspective? I was talking about with Zane the other day. We were doing Fall Guys uh, Twitch Rivals. You know, Zane was basically saying, like, look, when I play Mango, when I play Mango, like, he pressures me, and he, like, he makes, he pushes me to, like, the defensive edge, basically, in terms of the neutral. Like, he, he, like, in, in, in like, the way he rushes me down with Fox, it's way, I feel way more pressure than IBW or Leffen. But then Mango doesn't hit as hard as IBW or Leffen with their Foxes. Like, they're way better in the punish and the labbed out stuff. So, I mean, obviously this is the cliche, but, like, imagine Mango's Fox is neutral with, like, IBW or Leffen's Fox's punish. Zane's basically saying no one's got that right now. So, like, whereas Zane only has to focus on Marth, no one has actually put the full piece of the puzzle together with Fox yet. So, like, yeah, obviously Fox has room to do better in the matchup. Me, personally, I think that Fox can... He can force approaches in a lot of spots where the Marth kind of has to take a bit of a risk. He has to take a little bit of a guess. If you're doing really calculated running shines, if Marth can't really react to those. He kind of has to call you out. And the way Zane usually beats people is 
he's just hitting way harder than them. So when he's right, he just gets a really big reward. And and and, and on the Fox's side of things, you don't get to hit as hard as the Marth does. So to win the matchup over Marth, you have to be you have to basically be winning neutral more than they do. And I mean, I don't really think that that's not doable at the at the at the twenty XX level. Like if you take the if you take melee to its logical extreme, you take the Fox Marth matchup to its logical extreme. I mean, I totally think that like Fox could can do it. Like I think that if you you know like if you're really really good about uh you know keeping your approach unpredictable, making sure you're never doing something reactable, forcing Marth to take guesses. Uh, and you just kind of outplay them, you can totally do it. At the same time, you do have to outplay them. And I think that's the that's the kind of thing that like IBW and Leffen, like they don't like they don't want to have to feel like they're actually outplaying the shit out of Zayn to consistently win. Whereas with matchup like Sheik Mart that feels more even, or Sheik might even win, we're not really sure. It's kind of crazy how there's still no consensus on who wins between Sheik and Marth. Like Marth might win that. Uh, better shield pressure? No, no, no. Not even better shield pressure, but better pressure in the neutral. Like, if you look at how Mango's Fox plays, where, like, he really doesn't full hop much. Like, he's almost, he's almost always just forcing you to take, he's almost always forcing you to make a decision on the defensive. Like, he's almost always approaching or staggering a beat and then approaching or staggering at two beats and then approaching. And he's approaching smartly and he's basically always forcing you into, into taking a guess on the defense, basically. Really, really good at doing that. I, I mean, Mango might literally just be the best Fox in the matchup. If you don't count IBW and Levin, I think he is. Um, or, or Armada, I guess. I think Armada was really good at the matchup, too, when he played. But, I mean, I think... Yeah, no, I think I think Mango's already fucking good at the matchup. Like, when I watch Mango... Even Mango plays Zane with Fox sometimes. And, and I mean, when he's in practice with Fox, he looks fucking good. I really liked how Armada played it with Fox. I think Armada's playstyle actually with Fox actually lends itself to the matchup really well. Um, just from the perspective that I don't think you really can maximize the punish game that hard on Marth. I think you kind of have to just kind of, you know, the way I'll, you know, Armada is just kind of like, he's just got this low risk kind of consistent play style. I mean, it remains to be seen how he'd do against Zane today, but I actually think Armada was one of the Foxes that looked the best in the matchup when he actually played it, um, back in the day. Of course, this is kind of like a weird comparison because it's like Armada from, when he was active compared to the Marths at the time, but obviously Zane is a lot better than the Marths at the time. So this is kind of assuming Armada continued to get better as like the way, like, you know, the way like Zane is Zane 2021 is better than Mewtwo King from 2016, 2017. Like this is kind of assuming Armada kind of kept up with the matchup and all that stuff. And obviously Armada kind of quit, but I liked his approach to the matchup a lot. I think, I think Mango's strengths in the matchup suit the matchup. Or Man- Mango's strengths in the suit the matchup. And I think in a way, I think Armada's did as, as well. But, you know, he didn't try it against Mewtwo King very often, I will say. So you're kind of taking a very small data set and extrapolating. So it's kind of weird to draw the comparison with Armada. But at the same time, you know, let's take a brief detour. Here's the, so, so first of all, I'm going to say this. I'm going to say that the, 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 the top Foxes left in IBW switching to Sheik for the matchup, I think makes total sense. Um, I also just really like watching Sheik. I think Sheik Marth is a really fun matchup. I think Sheik Marth, like, if you look at the highest level of Sheik Marth, there's, there have been some banger Sheik Marth sets. Looking at Plub Zane, you know, Spark Zane from SEL, Face Roll Zane from SEL. Like, those are some fun matches to watch. So, I don't really care. Like, from my perspective, I actually really like watching Sheik. Uh, you know, I think I'm really looking forward. I think Leffen Sheik versus Zane Marth might be, like, one of the most anticipated matchups at the top level play when IRL tournaments come back, which feels sooner and sooner. So I think that's going to be a lot of fun. And IBDW, like, you know, I think he just, yeah, I don't know. I mean, when I watch him play his secondaries, they look good. So I think it makes sense.